It's hard to miss the swarm of gnats lingering around if you're spending any time outside this summer. And if you're tired of swatting away, there are some things you can do. New Sense Melissa Crash has more. Yeah, they're really bad. Really, really bad. Buffalo gnats have invaded the Wabash Valley. How many have you swallowed this year? So swallowed, I don't know, probably, I don't know. In my line of work, you mean per day or, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. So what can we do other than continue to swat them away? There is one. <laughs> Abby Sweet, an educator with Vigo County Extension, says try and stay away from rivers and streams. The gnats usually like uh, clean bodies of water and also fast moving bodies of water. Folks who like to spend time outdoors, like Travis Martin, run into gnats on a daily basis. Martin cuts grass for a living and runs during the day. He has found home remedies that help with the problem. I'll take my hat off, spray it with off, put it back on, and that gets me through. There are other ways to deal with the annoyance. To keep buffalo gnats from biting, you can try. So wearing long sleeves, pants, because um, they only bite directly on the skin. They don't go land on your clothing and bite through your clothing. Or keep insect repellent close by. A quick spray of a product with the ingredient DEET is key. Anything with vanilla or lavender in it um, has been shown to work as well. As the temperature increases, gnats will decrease. So for now, all we can do is follow these simple rules and <laughs> swat away. In Terre Haute with photojournalist John Tim, Melissa Crash, News 10. According to the Vigo County Extension Office, the gnat problem this year isn't any worse nor better than last year.